All right, everyone, good morning. We need to organize what we're gonna do today. My brain is fried and I'm just, I need help. So in order of importance, I believe we need to do the fruit first and then we need to take care of the tomatoes. I think I wanna do crushed tomatoes and I would really like to do barbecue sauce and then sloppy joe. Now I believe all of these are water bath canned so I don't have to break out the pressure canner, which is great. Let's get started on these peaches. I'm gonna throw on on my pop music and just bust it out. I'm so sorry that you can't also listen to some pop music with me, but I will try to play some good jams for you. So I am using the peaches and syrup recipe, which is page 148 in the complete book of home preserving by Ball. And I just made an ultra light syrup right here, which consists of five cups of water and a half cup of sugar. And then I'm going to be putting the peaches in here, heating them for one minute and then packing them into jars and then putting them into the canner. This is new to me, so I am learning along with you and we will see how this goes. We have nine jars of peaches ready to go in the canner. That is how many peaches we have left, plus some in the syrup. So I'm gonna have to do a second batch for sure. I'm gonna start putting the jars in here. It's already boiling, so that's great. Also, there's a weight limit on this glass top stove. I Googled it, it was 50 pounds. So I weighed the pot with the water and it was 30 pounds. I weighed the jars, nine jars, and it was six pounds. So we're at 36. So hopefully I, this isn't 14 pounds of peaches. Like I don't think so, but also there's syrup. So uh, I just hope that the glass top doesn't break. That would be very, very unfortunate. Another reason to just not get a flat top stove because not only are they a pain to clean, but there's weight limits. So you can't put a giant canner of things or you probably can't have two canners going for sure. So it limits what you can do in the kitchen and I don't like that. Ugh, this needs more water, of course. Great, why wouldn't it need more water? I'm not sure if it matters if I take things off the stove, but I'm just a little scared. That's what that looks like. All of them in there. I'm gonna put the lid on. These need to be in here for 30 minutes. So I will see you then. We are moving on to applesauce and according to the new food mill that I got, it said that I don't need to peel them, I just need to remove the stem. So I think I'm gonna use my apple corer thing and just remove the stem and seeds and then you quarter them. And then it says to put them in your steam juicer and steam them for like 30 minutes, but I don't have a steam juicer. So I'm gonna put them into a large pot and I guess maybe boil them or something. I don't know, cook them in some way, but I'm gonna leave the skin on, which is great. So that's 
that's a step you can skip. So let's get into breaking down these apples. Okay, hi. This doesn't have the correct microphone on it, so I'm sorry if this sounds weird, but I just cut my finger and I need to go get stitches, so. That's good, because this knife was facing upwards. And then I cut these apples, and I have about 10 minutes for the peaches. So I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes, get the peaches out, put the dogs in their kennel, and then drive to urgent care. Two hours later. Hello, I'm back. Me and my finger. Uh-huh, yep, that's her right there. So I went to urgent care, and turns out I needed two stitches. So I have two stitches in my finger and a brace to make it um, upright and straight. And it was on my knuckle. So I have to have stitches in there for 10 days. And then I have to get them out. So that's good. I don't know, did I explain how it happened? I have no idea. So I'll show you. I was cutting this apple and the knife was up like this. <laughs> and I full force pushed this down onto the apple and my knuckle went right into this knife. Uh, so yeah, I'm just really mad at myself for doing that. I work really fast, which usually isn't a problem, but I don't know why my brain didn't think, hey, where's that knife? You should check for the knife. Instead, I just full forced my knuckle straight into the knife. So lovely, I'm gonna eat food and then I'm gonna continue on because we still have a whole bowl of apples because I was only on my second apple. That's, that's right, only my second apple. And this is what my hand looks like in its resting position. It's a really interesting shape. Food has been consumed. It is time to continue on. I wanna get this done and then I can sit down. That's the goal. So let's get her done. Okay, here is the setup. This is the food mill connected to the countertop. I have the cooked apples right here. These apples were cooking probably for like 25 minutes. So I think they are tender enough. Okay, something's happening. All right, do we think that's tender enough? I feel like I should cook them more. Oh, I think I'm gonna try to cook them more. Okay, my conclusion is they are tender enough, but this thing is on crooked, I guess, because there is applesauce coming out the gasket right here. So I'm gonna have to like take apart this and then put it back together really quick. It's also really hot because the apples were hot. So oh, I'll see you soon. So this is the applesauce. I added four tablespoons of lemon juice and about one cup of sugar. The recipe says up to three cups and I just added enough until I liked it. It was not very sweet at all without sugar and I wanted it to be just like a tiny bit. I also blended it with my immersion blender just to get it a little bit more smooth. Ooh, that looks so good. And now I'm gonna fill up these jars. One of these jars of peaches did not seal. Hear that? That means it did not seal. So I'm dying to try. Oh, I tried to put it in the fridge, but it's not like super cold. I love them when they're so cold. So I think I might just try a little bit and then pop it back in the fridge. All right, here is a peach. Mm hmm Oh yeah, that's peachy. Ooh, they're perfect. They are perfect, perfect texture. Mm hmm 
Light syrup is good, not too sweet, which is great. I so badly just wanna sit here and eat this whole jar. Ugh. One more. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in the fridge, get it nice and chilled. And I am going to take the rest of the night off. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit there, probably crochet. Yes, even with this and probably watch more Chopped or something. I don't know. So I will see you tomorrow sometime. We have to go to the garden, I think. I mean, we don't have to. We could go on Sunday and put it off, but we do have a lot of tomatoes in the fridge that we have to can. They are defrosted. We got to do something with them. So my plan is to use up all the tomatoes in the fridge, clean that out. That will be it for canning as of right now. I need to save up more tomatoes and then we will see what is next for us. I will see you in the morning.